welcome back to the channel soul tribe it's me tony your resident tarot specialist over here at emperor's light and i'll be your spiritual love guide for the next half hour or so however long this reading gets but yeah newcomers welcome to the channel we do very uh funny unorthodox channeling here in this particular group uh, or collective and those that are returning welcome back you already know what you're in for right good old love messages um going to take a look at your current love energetics or the energy that's currently surrounding you at this time in regards to love romance and the matters of the heart um and then we're going to be checking the energy that's coming towards you so whether you're in a relationship or single um you have someone on your mind this could also be a message of self-love you may not even be looking for someone but we could also pick up the energies of someone that wants to connect with you romantically so overall take the messages how they resonate there should be something for you in this uh, particular channel session if not at least being mildly entertaining right but let's get into it because this is my second time <laughs> recording the, the, this intro this reading as soon as i cut on the first reading doctors came in i'm like wow <laughs> every time i'll be sitting here in complete silence for hours and then as soon as i try to record yep <laughs> so let's see using the ethereal visions tarot deck to pull in your messages one of you guys' favorite decks one of mine as well that's why i purchased it it glows it's shiny highest messages of love and light please and thank you spirit team ancestors and guides for our collective watchers today what do they need to know about love and romance who's wanting to connect with them in regards to love and romance into it find the messages and see what jumps out if any and we'll get your reading started this was ace of cups not bad not bad let's see here ace of cups however yeah so uh, the holy grail of love right someone is a brand new love offer coming towards you someone wants to offer you their heart This could also be intuitive gifts activated as well. It runs hand in hand with love. We're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Grounding the reading, we have the Two of Wands. So someone's watching you from a distance. They may find kinship with you as they've been watching you. This person may be going through abstinence as well or planning. So this person may be uh, an ambitious individual or they may have aspirations of travel. They may want to come travel towards you to present this cup. The Three of Cups. Mm, interesting. So yeah, this person wants to gather with you. <laughs> gather with you on what? Step in the name of love. They want to gather with you in the name of love here. They want to celebrate with you, toast with you, right? Be some sort of a celebration, drinks, eating, a party, a kickback. But yeah, they want to share a love with you here. The Empress. Mm, feminine energy, divine feminine, Taurus and Libra. Person can be very beautiful, very nurturing, very caring and creative. Mm -hmm. This could even be a mother or someone that has aspirations of being a mother. I'm also getting a business owner for some of you guys because the Empress is the creator. The Three of Swords, so two threes. So this person may have come out of some sort of a heartbreak, or have they have learned something from heartbreak, right? Yeah, they've uh, become an Empress. So, you know, they've developed stronger boundaries, stronger self-worth, self-love. I mean, this could be you as well coming off as the Empress, right? I'm not sure if you've had some sort of a breakup in the past or whatever the case may be, right? But usually it helps us develop and fine-tune what we uh, want and what we don't want around us, right? Regardless how, how other people feel about this. Oh, you're stuck up now. Why? Because I'm not naive anymore and I don't let you take advantage of me anymore and I have a higher quality. <laughs> and aspirations for myself in regards to relationships. So you could also be looking at, looking like, um, looking, hold on a second. You could be being viewed as a heartbreaker. The death card, yeah, there was some sort of a death or transformational cycle here that this person went through. Scorpio Major Arcana, so transformation. Definitely gonna be dealing with the clairvoyant as well, eighth house, transmutation. 
again, an empress can turn negativity into positivity or the ultimate uh, magician or trans uh, mutational artist can take negative energy or heartbreak, right? Someone has gone through heartbreak, they better themselves to become a heartbreaker. Not necessarily saying that they're going around, you know, be, breaking people's heart. They've become a heartthrob. They've become, um, they pretty much become what people want. For some of you guys, you may have been an underdog or the person that's coming towards you could have been like an underdog. So this is like an ugly duckling, beautiful swan type of situation. Yeah. The person that's coming towards you. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups, the temperance, a very patient individual. They may be um, spiritual as well. It's giving me therapist vibes. So maybe this person had to go to counseling or therapy. Or again, once you go through certain things as the wounded warrior, you become a healer. So once you go through things, you can then begin to teach people about the things that you went through how you've overcome. So this could be this type of person. It may be some sort of a counselor or a therapist, a spiritual healer or a spiritual leader. Mm -hmm. The Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Jackpot. Wish fulfillment. It's destiny and karma. Fate. Mm -hmm. Universal energy is working in your favor to bring you something very positive, right? Either uh, some sort of a monetary value or we're reading love. It's one of my um, marriage ring cards coming out on top of the three of cups. So again, this person may want to marry you or they just want to achieve ultimate happiness with you. Yep. The ace of pentacles. The first card out was the ace of cups. We have, uh, the ace of pentacles coming out on top of the empress, which is the planting of a seed. So again, you could have a mother or this could be something that's upcoming for someone. Someone's about to get pregnant. But this can also be an ultimate gift as well, like a very big gift that someone wants to bring towards you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so two new beginnings, one in love and one um, in money, or it could be a new commitment or relationship. Mm -hmm. The three of swords is being clarified by the, yeah, the four of pentacles. So yeah, so now someone values, this would be like, hmm, yeah, you can't be superficial, right? I mean, if the first thing you're going, okay, so I'm going to speak as a man. Because I don't want any woman to get offended. But you're probably going to get offended with what I'm about to say anyways, right? Hit dogs, going to holler. The women that understand, understand. Is if you're a man and the thing that you're putting forth is your money first, <laughs> how are you going to be looked at or perceived as, like, do you think she's really, like, love you or is trying to romance you? Or you think she's there for, like, um, the things that you can provide? So this person, again, they've gone through a breakup or some sort of a death or heartbreak situation where maybe they was like a, a captain save them or whatever and realizing that they can't be that type of person with everyone because people will take advantage of you. Now, there's another story that I could say for women as well, but I'm not going to, you know, beat a dead horse, right? So, yeah, the Four of Pentacles is like saving. It's like uh, keeping your energy grounded. Like, yeah, this person wants to protect themselves, right? They build some sort of a guard around themselves, right? Even people that can't make you change your mind, they're going to call you crazy or they're going to make you mad. Oh, I'm sorry, they're going to try to make you mad because all of a sudden you have some sort of a new uh, found standard for yourself. <laughs> Let's see. Death is being clarified by the Page of Swords. Oh, this person is watching you and investigating you. They like you a lot. Yep. With the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, it makes sense. Yeah, they feel a new sense of love for you. They feel that they can start a new love cycle with you, possibly offer you some sort of a new commitment as well, which would be marriage at the end of the day, or a child I'm even seeing here. The High Priestess clarifies the Temperance and the uh, Ace of Cups. Can't see any energy for me, but it could be any one of the water signs. It just The High Priestess is just indicative of a spiritual awakening. Again, a my spiritual awakening was initiated through a breakup. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this person, it definitely seems like they've been through some sort of a spiritual awakening. Um, they may be, uh, they may practice deep spiritual things at this time. You could be dealing with a teacher or a professor as well, this person may be, or they have some sort of an occult knowledge or esoteric experience, mm -hmm. higher knowledge. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, a student, a professor, and a student. 
or this person is a student of life, again, they have to go through tough times, heartbreak to really know what love is for them. Unless this is you, this is how this is resonating for you, right? Take the message how it resonates. You may even know this person's story if you guys are that close, so you'll know who I'm talking about. The Ace of Pentacles and the Empress is being clear up. <laughs> yeah, someone really wants to create a child here. This is my sex card, Eight of Wands. But it's also rapid communication. It's also swift travel and movement, incoming messages. This could be multiple people trying to target you, right, or come towards you. Or this person has been trying to send you several hints, text messages, DMs, phone calls. They've been trying to uh, contact you. Yeah, it reminds me of a woman that's ovulating, so she's trying to contact her lover that to, to, to come and drop that seed, basically, is what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah, coveting your energy, right? She's coveting the seed. Or that's just the explanation that I'm using as of right now. Four of Pentacles and the Three of Swords is being clarified by the Knight of Swords. Yeah, they're trying to communicate with you here. They can't hold water. They want to express something to you. Again, communicate or contact you somehow. So again, you know, check your Gmails, your emails, right? Your DMs. This person wants to talk with you. A conversation about holding back or taking this relationship to the next level. I don't think this person wants to waste time. They either want to move forward with you or they want to cut cut it now so that they're not wasting time, basically, right? Because I think they love you because they've been investigating you. I'm about to hear to clarify the page of sword, which is a spy coming out on top of death card. Anytime I see a major Scorpio major arcana with the page of swords, that's FBI CIA vibes. So they definitely love you, Ace, or they they're falling for you, right? <laughs> Ace of Cups, the three of cups. Yeah. Presenting themselves as the empress, right? A mother figure, a priest, I'm sorry, a priestess, a healing um, wife, possibly. The page of wands, damn, three pages. Yeah, so they're sexually curious about you. Um, they have, uh, they get very excited. So yeah, this could be a new relationship for some or some of you guys just know how to keep the passion new in your relationship. Keep it uh, young and exciting and, and uh, enthusiastic and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone could have been like a minor athlete, or um, maybe they did some sort of a exercising, aerobic stretching, yoga, pole dancing, whatever the case may be. All right? If you're a male, of course, the same thing: jogging or hiking or just a little small, intensive, uh, small um, exercise and that, and that sort of thing. You could be dealing with a content creator here as well. This person may already have children. Unless this resonates for you as you already have children as well. But again, uh, maybe uh, this person wants to create a family with you, create children with you. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is what they want with you. Ten of Cups, wish fulfillment and happy, happy family. They want to build a lineage with you. This person may also be very popular or they see you as being very popular. There's also a number of clairvoyant gifts here as well. So, I'm, again, this, this person seems like they went through some sort of a spiritual awakening. So they may have like um, spiritual knowledge or wisdom, possibly even religious uh, backings as well. The Eight of Cups, they had to release or walk away from something in order to come towards you for this Ten of Cups. It could have been detoxing, right? Sex, drugs, alcohol, whatever the case may be. The Eight of Cups is also indicative of the distance between you guys, right? Guard, uh, grounding the reading was the Two of Cups. So again, they're watching you from a distance. Even watching you on social media, spying. Damn, they're investigating you, right? <laughs> Vetting you. Could this be a dating app here? Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, it comes off as games, dating apps, and that sort of thing, right? I'm not sure if this person found you on a dating app or if you're using some sort of a dating app at this time. This person may be a gambler as well. I'm picking up for some. Could have been one of those toxic traits that they had to let go. Two of swords. Indecision. Block communication. Yeah, again, this person may be trying to communicate with you, but they feel blocked. Mm -hmm. A decision is needing to be made as well, but there's perhaps not enough understanding there, which is why this person keeps spying on you. It's like they can't learn enough by you. They already know enough about you, but they feel like they can't learn enough about you. <laughs> Yeah, interesting. The King of Cups. 
Yeah, they're ro very romantically attracted to you. Again, the first card out was the, was the Ace of Cups. This King of Cups is bringing this Ace of Cups. Yeah, they're willing to show you how much they love you or care about you, right? Again, the King of Cups is stoic with his emotions. Yeah, he's emotionally intelligent, right? He could be the ro most romantic and loving, supportive um, king of them all, right? Very watery and very emotional, but he doesn't have to be, right? The king of Cups is represented by Scorpio. Scorpio is also here with death as well, right? And the box chariot. Yeah, they're very determined to come towards you. They can have strong water sign placements, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting read. Let's see, what are the high, well, the major arcana to show up here? Yeah, I think this person, um, they definitely want a family and children with you. We got, uh, no, we got Scorpio and Cancer, Death and the High Priestess. Again, they have to be some sort of a priest or a priestess. Mm hmm Mm, went through some sort of a death or transformational cycle as well, right? Even sometimes being on your deathbed or going through life and death situations can, can bring a different perspective uh, to someone, even, you know, even on how they spend their money or how they view love relationships and that sort of thing, right? People realize that they don't have time to waste. Right? Yeah, um, the Empress, Libra, Taurus, and the Wheel of Fortune. So, yeah person may be lucky or maybe they have some sort of an abundance coming towards them. They may work with the laws of attraction. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. Again, they want to bring a new love offer or uh, and also a new gift to you. So this could be a new commitment. The lighting is so bad. Like the lights are on in this room. There's natural lighting outside. Why is this phone not picking up lighting the way that I wanted to pick up? Yeah, I definitely see new commitments in love, relationship, possibly financial support and all that type of stuff, which usually when people date each other, they do intermingle finances. There was another major arcana. Yeah, balancing and mixing. Yeah, mixing fluids with each other, right? <laughs> yeah, temperance. Sagittarius energy. Again, this person may be into travel. They may be some sort of a teacher, professor, or guru. Mm. High court cards, we have a bunch of pages, three pages. There's children here. Either this person is childlike or youthful, right? I didn't say they were an, an, an immature or amateur individual, but they could be, right? Um, maybe this person already has children. Maybe children are attracted to this individual. Page of Wands, uh, Creativity or sexual excitement, sexual curiosity. Page of Swords is like a student. It's like um, spying or just um, taking notes on something. And the Page of Pentacles is like a budding entrepreneur or a gift or token of appreciation. Right, a student. Yeah. Let's see, what else do we have? Three and three. Three of Swords and three of Cups. Yeah. This person is trying to avoid a heartbreak. They've possibly been through it in the past. Mm -hmm. Knight of Swords. They may communicate this to you, right? Some of their goals, some of their flaws, some of their strengths. Yeah, this person may be like a hard worker. They may have like a routine that they have for pinnacle saving. Yeah. Could be working and saving towards the things that they want, like love and marriage, ace of cups and ace of pinnacles. This person's not uh, uh, like a poor uh Broke, busted, and disgusted individual. This is an empress coming towards you, right? Now, if you know anything about Isis and the seven scorpions, right? She was a goddess. She disguised herself as a bum and went into a city to try to get help from uh, people because the other gods were after her trying to kill her, right? So she went dressed up as a pauper. Yeah, and no one would help her until they realized that she was a goddess. <laughs> of course, that's what people do, right? That's what women do. Oh, oh you broke it. I posted that... Um, that short video on my community tab. The dude was trying to talk to the chick. She didn't want to pay him no mind. As soon as he walked back to his transformer vehicle, all of a sudden she run back and now all of a sudden he's cute. She want to have a full long conversation, right? Yeah, you didn't realize she was talking to a god. <laughs> Let's get 
break that message in regards to love, romance, and the matters of the heart. Look at me. I know a beautiful woman when I see her. People just are just born in certain conditions. Like me, I was born in the trenches of Miami. When everyone thinks of Miami or sees Miami, all they see is fancy beaches and fast cars, beautiful women and money being thrown everywhere, nice dinners and margaritas and all that. No, I grew up in Overtown, the trenches, <laughs> right? <laughs> Listen, and look what type of person that that, that, that thing produced. <laughs> Not everyone is um, a product of their environment. Right? So again, I know a beautiful woman when I see one, whether she's working at McDonald's smelling like French fries, I know all she needs is a good wash down and a good dress, right? <laughs> like Aladdin, right? He, he, he's considered a street rat, but he was able to pull that princess though. <laughs> Princess Jasmine fell head over heels in love with him, and he didn't need to make a wish or magic to do it. All right. Page of Swords. Yeah, they're watching you a lot because they like you a lot, King of Swords. Now, again, take it how it resonates if you're watching this as a man or a woman. Because you could be a man, and yeah, <laughs> she's still uh, displaying this very romantic attraction towards you. Again, the way I feel about relationships. Now, I've been I've been approached by um, most of my relationships were me being approached by women, right? So again, masculine energy. Some women are just like that when it comes to their emotions, right? That was Simone Biles, basically, right? Yeah, and then pages. So, so they're spying on you with a romantic eye or a romantic viewpoint. Mm -hmm. Again, I posted a, a video to my community tab. Um, if a woman really likes you or if a man really likes you, but if a woman really likes you, men out there, right, and <laughs> she'll be able to show and prove, right? If a man really likes you, he's going to be able to show and prove. Mm, closing messages for the collective, please and thank you, Spirit Team. What does our watcher need to know in regards to love, romance, and the matters of the heart? What is their person wanting to communicate with them? The Two of Pentacles. To balance or juggling. This person wants to be in harmony and sync with you. Yeah, it's reminding me of the Sagittarius uh, Temperance card. Again, mixing of the fluids or uh, balance, patience, and all that sort of thing. I'm going to clarify this Two of Pentacles. All right. How does this person feel about this relationship? Two of Pentacles, they're trying to get on an equal, um, they're trying to get on an equal playing field with you. They feel very balanced with you, though. Or they feel that you guys can have a very balanced relationship. The Chariot, yeah, they feel very determined mm -hmm. to uh, make this relationship happen or to get on the same level as you, basically. I don't know if they're above you or below you, but, you know, they're trying to seek a balance and in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This would be indicative of a man getting with a woman and teaching her something like how to start a business or a woman getting with a man and bringing something uh, feminine into his life, like a home cooked meal or a feminine perspective on certain things, even when it comes to his business. Right. How do you get more women customers? Let me give you a woman pers woman's perspective. Right. Justice, a magician. Yeah, they're manifesting. Yeah, this person has some strong willpower. Aries, Gemini energy. They're very communicative and they're very detail oriented. And they don't give up here with the cherry card. Again, this person may be at a distance from you or they like to travel. The Queen of Cups. We saw the King of Cups in the deck. Yeah, this is your um, your person, your match energetically. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups, again, very supportive, very nurturing, very caring and sensitive, very intuitive, psychic. Yeah, so you guys, again, may be in tune. This person's so in tune with you. Um, again, this is why they're trying to get on, on the same level as you, get on the same balance as you. The King of Pentacles. I think the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups goes well together, right? But yeah, the mature man, Mr. Moneybags, right? The father figure or the husband. Yeah. Yeah. This person wants to come in uh, either way um, and support you, right? If you're a man, this Queen of Cups is coming in to bring that water into your life. If you're a woman, this King of Pentacles is coming to support you somehow. Right? Yeah. Uh, 
um, anything else I want to relate to a part of me? You can see judgment. I said the tarot speak. Great take message to close out the reading, please. And thank you, spirit team. The Knight of Wands, passion. They're wanting to come uh, charging towards you. Yeah, they probably are very sexually attracted to you, or they, again, they see a lot of chemistry between you guys. This person may actually be very athletic as well, but they have a strong desire and proclivity to come towards you physically. The Knight is sometimes, the Knight of Wands can sometimes be seen as noncommittal, like an irresponsible individual, right? They never settle down. I don't necessarily think that's the case. I just think that this is how this person feels about you. They feel very passionate and exciting about you. Excited. The temperance shows up again with the King of Pentacles. Yeah. Indicative of this person's thoughts or the overall energy of this uh, love connection. 2552. Yeah, you guys could be soulmates or have some sort of a close connection, like similar to Twin Flames. I saw the kinship here, but I can't recall any, um, any Twin Flame energies other than... Uh, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups showing up in a reading. Mm -hmm. And the offering, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. But the Temperance here, this is a Twin Flame card, right? Balance, getting on the same level again with the Two of Cups. The, I'm sorry, the Two of Pentacles. Remember I was saying it reminds me of Temperance, right? Juggling. And this is them, again, the mixing of the two fluids, the mixing of you guys' souls, you guys' energy, you guys' creative talents. Right? Earth angel activity. This could also be a spiritual protection, which most twin flame relationships are. So if you guys are connecting as counterparts, you guys are connecting as two psychics here. King and queen of cups. Very sensitive to each other. Very supportive and nurturing to each other. Mm -hmm. Very spiritual union. Mm -hmm. So it's more than just a physical thing. It's it's felt internally in, in the God and love. And um, yeah. Developing a very high spiritual connection. So that's what I have for you guys today. Like the video and subscribe to the channel Soul Tribe. Hopefully um, this person is um, going to be approaching you soon. Again, I'm not sure the timeline. Again, I just read the current energies and the energies that's coming towards you. So some of you guys may already be dealing with this person. 2727 on the timeline. Let's see if there are any channel messages. Any downloads? No. You guys may do well near water. Maybe this person wants to go on a cruise with you or something like that. You guys may end up settling down near water. I don't know, a house on the beach or something like that. What else am I getting? No, just a very, yeah. Could be a spiritual business is, uh, here is what you guys are going to be doing as well. Maybe a couple of relationship uh, therapists. Whatever you guys do, you're gonna, you guys are going to be doing it together. Mm -hmm. This could even be a romantic relationship that uh, that go, it starts romantic and then goes into business or it starts as business and goes into a romantic relationship. So take the messages how they resonate. Hopefully you got everything you needed from this reading today. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.